from the author who brought you a farewell to arms and the old man in the sea. Be the first to explore the effects of the moral, physiological, and spiritual void created by a war that left a generation to live aimlessly and without meaning. Based on Ernest Hemingway's 1926 novel, The Sun Also Rises. Robert Cohn was once middleweight boxing champion of Princeton. Do not think that I am very much impressed by that as a boxing title, but it meant a lot to Cohn. Robert went over to America with his novel, and it was accepted by a fairly good publisher. The publishers had praised his novel pretty highly, and it rather went to his head. Listen, Jake, don't you ever get the feeling that your life's going by, and you're not even taking advantage of it? Yes, every once in a while, but I've had plenty to worry about from time to time, and I'm through worrying. Well, I want to go to South America. Listen, Robert. Going to another country doesn't make any difference. I've tried all that. You can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to another. There's nothing to that. I'm sick of Paris. I'm sick of the quarter. Nothing ever happens to me. So there you were. I was sorry for him, but it was not a thing you could do anything about. Her name's Lady Ashley. Brett's her own name. She's a nice girl, but she's a drunk. She's getting a divorce and is going to marry a man named Mike Campbell. She had been looking into my eyes all the time. Her eyes had different depths. Sometimes they seemed perfectly flat. Now you could see all the way into them. I did not see Brett again until she came back from San Sebastian. Nor did I see Robert Cohn again. I wrote Cohn that I would be leaving Paris on the 25th for Pamplona, Spain to see the fiesta and bullfights. So Robert, Brett, Mike, and I met in Pamplona. But the things that happened could only have happened during a fiesta. Everything became quite unreal, finally, and it seemed as though nothing could have any consequences. It seemed out of place to think of consequences during a fiesta. It was like certain dinners I remembered from the war. There was much wine, and ignored tension, and a feeling of things coming that you could not prevent happening. Oh, Jake, Brett said. We could have had such a damn good time together. Yes, I said. Isn't it pretty to think so?